internet this is Al over here at Paylor how you doing hey let's do a test here let's do a wrap up on what we've learned so far about AutoCAD first thing I want you to do is I want you to lay out an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper I want it laid out horizontally eleven on the x-axis eight and a half on the y so here we go we can either click rectangle and then enter on the bottom of our page um, let's see zero comma zero enter 11 comma 8.5 enter there it is come up here go up to the top of your page pick up the zoom and zoom extents or zoom e if you prefer there's that rectangle there's an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper all right now let's uh let's look at uh let's look at center lines where's the center line there's a the center line see they look like uh equilateral triangles Okay, so there's the center line, right, like that. Divides us into four equal parts, okay? Now, where does that come from? Hmm, good question. Um, it's magic, no. Uh, let's, uh, let's take and let's locate, for instance, a circle in the middle. Doop. There's a circle in the middle, okay? Uh, something like that. Now let's take and look at its diameter. Come over here, click. There's the diameter. Let's look at its radius. Bloop. Click the radius. Click the circumference. There's the radius. Let's put a different circle concentrically. And let's go D for diameter, 1, enter. There's a 1 inch diameter circle. You don't believe it? Let's take a look. Go right to its circumference. There is 1. And go to its radius, which should now read half radius ah there it is and the radius doop, reads half how's that okay you want to look at the north south east west qu quadrants well let's sneak up on it and see if they're lit ah uh, there's one two three four but they're not quadrants actually are they no uh, but you know we'll go with it okay so you want to put a little box around this do you all right then let's go up like this and then let's go over like this okay let's pick up trim go to trim click this one left click left click right click left click left click okay now we can mirror all of this stuff around but we don't have to let's just continue what we're doing okay let's um i tell you what let's copy copy what copy this and this okay from here to uh, uh, here okay enter and now let's rotate it remember that rotate rotate what rotate this and this from where from here how much 180 sounds good now let's go put it someplace so let's pick it up and move it let's move this left click right click pick it up fine there we go we'll just click it and drop it right in there okay you want to now mirror it okay let's mirror it. mirror mirror what left click left click that's what we want to mirror right click pick up the access line any line any place around here click click or click it doesn't matter enter and there it is okay and now let's mirror this one down right click repeat mirror what do we want? Select objects is our object. Pick up a line someplace, click here, click a mirror line right there, and enter. There it is. Now we've mirrored it all. Okay. So how's that? So we started out with an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. We picked up the middle points on it. We drew a circle. We measured it. We drew a smaller circle with a specific diameter. We measured that. We took a couple line segments and using the quadrants on the circle we were able to put it in a box. So your apple snapple your snapple fact of the day is children grow a lot faster in the spring than any other time of the year. So this is Al down at Paler and we'll talk again real soon.